Hey there, my name is Vex, and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's Play Final Fantasy IX. Uh, man, these recordings go by so fast, it really sucks. I love playing this game, I love recording this game. Uh, it's just so fun, and I don't want to sound like I'm bandering, and I don't want to sound like I'm, I'm being cheesy or anything like that. I know that's impossible for me, it's just my personality. But seriously, I love recording these, so I just want to, like, get as much stuff as I can do... Uh, get as much stuff done as I can possibly do because I it just feels like you know I look down at the, the the stopwatch that I use to see how much time it takes to record and it's gone like in no time so yeah anyways let's not give a huge intro and let's do that stuff attention all engineers for the safety of the passengers do not carry any equipment into the air cab air cab management oh yeah by the way in the last episode we fully explored the market district or the business district uh, the theater district of course, we've already been to the castle, and so now I have taken the airship to the industrial district. So we're going to explore this one and see if we can do anything, and then we will be moving on to the castle, which is where I assume we need to go. So let's talk to these gentlemen. Good day. Well, good day to you, too. Thank you for being so nice. Oh, that's the other thing. Everyone's nice to you in Lindblum. You know, it doesn't... I don't know. Final Fantasy IX just feels different from other RPGs. It feels like most of the NPCs are just completely mean and rude to you all the time. So maybe I like this game as a kid just because it felt so lighthearted and fun in comparison to, like, Final Fantasy VII, where that definitely is going on. Anyways, making those air cabs required a lot of effort. I nearly lost my arm during the construction. Wow, amazing, dude. Don't tell me your whole life story. Let's go up into the in uh, industrial district. I don't remember this at all. I do vaguely remember the um, the theater district and the business district, but this one I don't really remember too much. Let's see what's over here. Got a leather wrist. Very nice. Also, there's a little kitty cat up there. Looks like we can't activate it. We should be able to read whatever this is. No? Oh, there we go. Sid the Eighth. Developed the first mispowered airship in 1762, led the airship Armada in 1771, and brought peace to the continent. Died 1780. In honor of my father, Sid the Ninth. Alright, great. Alright, now we've got a whole bunch of things to do and explore. Can we go over here? Is there any... You know, one thing I just realized is, is that if it looks like you can't go there, they made it so you really can't, or they made it so there's nothing there. Like, this could be an entrance to a shop, but since it doesn't really look like you can really go over there and see where you're going, they didn't do that, so that's good. I think that's good game design. Anyways, this is amazing. You can't find architecture like this anywhere. This Regency is so advanced. Glad you think so, my friend, although it doesn't really have any bearing on me. The Regent built the statue when Sid the Eighth passed away. And what do you have to say? Oh, God! Why does it always... Oh, I hate that. Okay, because, like, you have to press A to skip, uh, you know, to get all the text there. And that's how I've done it with pretty much every video game. Because I read pretty fast, I would say. Um, anyways, hey, what do you think? In the front, in the back. Wow, sex jokes all over the place. Go ahead, fill them up. Yeah, just, well, fill them up. Ha, ha, ha. Fill the comment section. All the sex jokes. Just, just do it or think about it. Whatever. I mean, come on. Hey, what do you think? In the front or in the back? That's pretty, that's pretty straightforward. There's no way they wrote this without knowing. Like, there's no way, right? Uh, in the front. No! Putting it in the back is more effect- like, come- come on. Putting the engine in the front provides more stability, but less power. Okay, this must be like a joke. In the back! That's right, you're a smart guy, nobody believes what I say. Putting the engine in the back results in more power. <laughs> Most engineers are weird, why is that? I- I need to look this up after this episode ends. Because I cannot believe I have never heard that. That has to be like a famous screenshot or something. Relocation notice the stores moved to Falgar Plaza in the business district. Shopkeeper Dragoose, which of course we have uh, seen. We have seen Dragoose. I think he was the weapons seller. Yes, because there's weapons icons up there. All right, it looks like all we can do is go up these stairs. And like I said, I think to progress in the story, we need to go to the castle. But we're just fully exploring anything that we can. Sid the Eighth, who developed the first mispowered engine, had a pet cat. Since then, a lot of engineers went out to get cats. I have my own too. Her name is Gypsy. Is that it up there on the top right? The cat that's moving over there? Not really sure. Uh, let's see. Today's special, Dark Stew. One of our classics, the Doom Pub. Nothing about that sounds delectable, but hey, let's go inside anyways. I think this is where we met Freya, wasn't it? Yes, indeed. Freya, however, is gone now. All right. Ah, nothing like an icy cold root beer after a hard day's work. Let's talk to, what was your name? Bobo or Babu or something like that? It's not Roscoe, that's the uh, anteater thing. Okay, looks like we can't actually talk to uh, our bartender friend. Oh, I'm sorry. We're all out of dark stew, which is in blue for some reason. 
Grandma's been busy selling her pickles lately and she hasn't given me any attention. Sometimes I think she loves her pickles more than she loves me. Again, sex jokes. Yeah, sex jokes are plenty. I, I wonder, like, because they had to translate this over from the Japanese release. I wonder, like, there's no way they could have just been completely oblivious to that, right? That has to be intentional to some extent. Airship Engineer Daily Report, Hildegard 2, construction postponed. The prototype steam engine on board Hildegard 2 is inoperative. The engine problem stems from errors during the manufacturing period. Wonderful. Belch! Burp. I, I would burp if I could, but I'm actually a pretty terrible burper or belcher, so I can't just do that on command. People say to suck in air. <laughs> yeah, see, that's all I can muster. Bobo, hey Zidane, good timing. I just came up with a new dish that I want you to try. Uh, no thanks, I'm full right now. Oh yeah? That's too bad. Huh, weird. I wonder if that's because we don't like his cooking, or if we're actually full. I don't really know. Ne uh, either way, it doesn't really seem too significant. So let's move on, shall we? Yeah, I already talked to you, buddy. Ugh, what the heck was in that dish? Yeah, it looks like... Yeah, I think the joke is that they only make terrible dishes at the Doom Pub. Guess what? When I grow up, I'm gonna become an airship engineer. I'm gonna build a really big airship so I can go everywhere with all of my friends. Well, those are some big dreams, little kid. Hope they hope they come out. Hope they come to be. I'll probably have to save the world at some point, this being a Final Fantasy game. Uh, and if I do, maybe you can continue your dream. <clears throat> Ladruff, you know what this is? You're not gonna believe it. It's a steam engine. It's still a prototype. The house gets hot as hell while this baby's running. running. That's the only problem. I'm getting thin from sweating so much. Okay. Cool. What else we got in your house? Anything that I can steal? I am a bandit after all. Ah, indeed. Like, think about this. I am literally walking to the top of this man's house, opening his containers, and taking the items. Really? You don't have any... You don't have a little... A mewing sound or anything? Okay. Yeah, well, we got a mimic card and a steepled hat. I think we already bought three steepled hats anyways, but that's kind of cool. Oh, is, re oh, is this the end to the industrial district? Brutal foe, are you having airship trouble repairing missed engines? This is my specialty. Fast quality service guaranteed. All right, looks like we are done exploring all the industries. There is an overpass ahead. I'm not sure if we're supposed to be able to go through there or not, but I'm going to call this completed. Uh, we are done exploring everything, so now we have to return back to the castle and see what's going on with Dagger and the King Regent and all of those people. And if that's not what we need to do to proceed in the game, well, that's going to suck because then I am kind of at a loss, although we have been pretty much everywhere. And we have been meticulous about explore, uh, exploration and exploring, so I don't see why that wouldn't be the case. But we'll probably have some new stuff to explore here, too, because we're entering the castle from a different uh, entrance. I think we're going to be where Steiner was in that cutscene. Oh, no, we have definitely been here before. Okay, right, we've been here before. So, let's go this way. And then up these stairs, and I'll get my bearings in a second here. There we are. Yes, we are at the start. Okay, I'm assuming we just want to talk to... Who do we want to talk to? Dagger's over here, because we saw the ATE. If it was if it was an ATE that we couldn't skip, that probably means that we want to come over here and talk to Dagger. Who's down there? Okay, this guy wasn't here before. And he's sleeping on the job. All right. Well, let's go this way. And we have to remember there's an, a door down there that we maybe can activate at some point, since we can't right now. What are you doing here? You! What have you done with the princess? Where is she? Whoa, take it easy. I just got here. The princess is gone. She was supposed to stay in this room. Maybe she went out for a little walk. How can you be so calm? This is a very serious manner. Have you forgotten all the dangers she, fa she faced just to get here? What if something terrible happens to her? What am I doing here? I must go find her. Out of my way! Okay, so it looks like we did need to come here for some reason. Uh, obviously, Dagger is not here. Okay, we still have a letter for Atla. I remember it was A-T-L-A, the Moogle. Not sure where that Moogle's gonna be, but we'll keep an eye out. See, it's already halfway through the episode, dang it. And we just explored the industrial area, and I'm trying to move, like, faster than usual. Yeah, time just flies when you're having fun, am I right? Alright, anyways. 
Uh, okay, so like I said, we need to come down here. Maybe that guard has moved now? Not really sure. I wonder where she went. Well, let's just see. Okay, can't go through there. Well, hopefully it gives me another clue because that's gonna really suck if it's... If we did it in the opposite order and we explored everything before we should have been exploring because maybe she's in one of those locations. Oh, but here we've got something. That song! I've heard it somewhere before. That sweet voice. It's Dagger! She's upstairs. Upstairs? As in... Upstairs over here? Can't be, right? I guess we have to take the, uh... Elevator. Sorry, only authorized personnel can use the lift. Man, I've gotta get past this guy somehow. Maybe if I disguise myself as a guard, he'll let me through. Oh, well, it's always very nice, even though this sounds like a simplistic puzzle, it's always very nice when the solution comes to me immediately, because that usually doesn't happen in my Let's Plays. Hey, wake up! Huh? I just saw a suspicious character wandering around. What? W where? Upstairs, follow me. No, in here! Alright, you bastard, show yourself! Hey, what are you doing? That was easy. Alright, look at our look at our new and improved Zidane. You know what's funny is like, as a kid you would think this is literally Zidane running around with this uh, costume on, but now that I'm older, I, and, and I mean, you don't have to be old to figure this out, I'm just saying, now I realize they just literally changed the sprite. This is not like Zidane with a suit of armor on, you know what I mean? That's taking the immersion out, so I shouldn't say things like that. I should be able to get on the lift now. Alright, let's do it. Hey, how's it going, buddy? Doesn't matter. Don't care. I actually know this song quite a bit because, uh, what do you do with the clothes, Zidane? This is in a playlist that I listen to quite frequently. It's called Above the Dreamy Clouds, uh, and it's on playlist.com or something. Great playlist. I highly suggest it. Uh, there's also, there's two parts to it. I forget what the first one is, uh, but this song is definitely in one of them. But they're all usually rendition, so it's not exactly this song. It's just, like, someone else's version. Uh, okay, so we can go upstairs or we can go over here. Let's talk to this guy. Looks like this guy doesn't care that we're up here. You, what do you think you're doing? Wake up, how dare you sleep on duty? Whew, that was close. Okay, now if we go back over there, we'll probably have to steal the suit again. So let's just go upstairs. I'm not going to put you guys through that. But let us see if there is anything in this room. What? A girl? Oh yeah, I saw her go upstairs just a while ago. Okay. Can I look at this machine at all? Looks like no. Hey, buddy. That song is very peculiar. Yeah, some guards just don't care <laughs> if I'm in a restricted area or not. Sure, whatever. Nice song. How did you get up here? This is a restricted area. Come on, I do this for a living. Oh yeah, you're a member of Tantalus. It must have been easy for you. Whew! What a view! Hey, there's a telescope! Let's go check it out! Come on! Hmm. Okay, looks like we can move this. Getting some, uh, some memories of Majora's Mask. 
There's probably a lot of weird things living there. Maybe I should check it out sometime. Okay, interesting. I want to look at everything. So that was the marshland. And I think... Oh no, we couldn't activate the birds. That was the marshland. Those are the mountains that surround Burmesia. I guess the best way to get there is through the cavern at the base. Okay. Don't want to miss anything. Evil forest down there, maybe? That river flows right by Southgate. You can get to the gate by walking along the river. Good to know. Hey, there's a chocobo. Maybe I can catch a chocobo in that forest. Yeah, there's a cho- How could we see- That chocobo is as big as the- As big as the trees. What is this? That chocobo takes up a decent amount of that river. Doesn't make sense. Come on. That's a, that's a weird scale to have. Alexandria is beyond those mountains. I bet they're looking for us. Okay, and here we have Southgate. Oh, there's Southgate. I wonder if there's if they've started repairing it. I'll pro eh, it'll probably take a while to fix everything. Let me see. How's the view? I've made so much trouble for everyone. Uncle Sid knew everything. That's why he asked Tantalus to get me out of Alexandria. No matter how hard I try, I'm always a step behind in everything. I'm so helpless. What's wrong? Zidane, why did you help me come here to Limblum? Is it because your boss ordered you to? I just wanted to help you, that's all. The boss didn't agree with me, so I ended up leaving the band. Really? I'm sorry. Don't worry about it. It isn't the first time I've left. Zidane. Yeah? Oh, um, how are you planning to abduct me? We were gonna put you to sleep with a sleep with sleeping weed, then kidnap sleeping sleeping weed. Then kidnap you. It's mostly used for kids, but a big dose can knock out an adult just as easily. I guess you didn't need it since I came along on my own. Hey, would you mind giving me some? I've had a hard time sleeping lately. Um, I don't think that's a good idea. You might get addicted. Maybe all you need is some company, eh? Oh, please. Do you think I'm that naive? <laughs> Can't blame me for trying. Uh, um, th that song. Were you singing it in the village of Dolly? Yes, so you were up that night. What is that song, anyway? I don't know. I can't even remember where I learned it. I sing it whenever I feel sad or lonely. For some reason, it comforts me and reminds me that I'm not alone. I guess it's a mystical song. Let me hear it again. Hmm. I never expected to find such fine armor in a place like this. Hey, I remember when I said she'd like when when Steiner would like that armor. You see? Yes, I'll buy that one too. Who knows when that brawn will start another war? What? The queen would never start a war. You dare speak ill of the queen? Who the hell are you? I'm uh, an armor collector. Oh well, in that case, can you recommend some good armor? I uh, I must go. Giant gerbil man. Go, Knights of Pluto, yeah! What are those things? They look so stupid. I'm gonna take Sid's airships and destroy them. Hey, cut it out! You broke my knight! I'm gonna go tell your mom! No, come on! Royal action figures? Those black mages were like toys, being controlled by someone. The sky looks ominous. Something's about to happen. Sir Fratley, where are you? I need you. Okay. It should work now. Sire, it's no good. What? We can't stabilize the engine system. It can't run for more than ten minutes. Darn it! My mind hasn't been the same since I became an Oglop. Hey, Dagger. So when do you want to go on that airship cruise? What are you talking about? 
What am I thinking? I asked the girl at the... Never mind. Well, it sounds like you've asked the wrong girl. Wait, I, I can explain. Why bother? Go have a wonderful time. Oh, man. Okay, how about this? If I get first place in tomorrow's hunting festival, you and me will go out on a date. How does that have anything to do with me? Come on, please? Fine. Okay, it's a date. It may be tradition, but this is a dreadful festival. So many lives lost every year, especially because of him. Hardly. The festival is a test of manhood. I tingle with excitement every year. This is the last carriage. All of the preparations for the festival of the hunt are complete. Very good. Now we wait for the signal. Yes, sir. Whoa! The fangs have been freed. What? We haven't even received the minister's authorization. We believe that they're going to release him any minute. All right, release the must before they let him loose. Hurry! The mus. Oh, I guess those are mus. We know what fangs are because of the card. All is ready. All right, stand by. This year's specimen is perfect. Nothing can stop him. <laughs> what power! Hey, make him stop. It's too early to let him loose. How? I have no control over him. Damn it! Open the gate at once. The gate's gonna fall apart. Go, Zagnol! Oh, we've got a bunch of Zagnol cards. I thought you were just a common enemy, Zagnol. I remember there was a boss in this section. Where's Zidane? Please, princess. You might actually enjoy it. Okay. I wonder if Zidane has improved his skills. Hey, guys. Sorry I'm late. All right, let's begin. Festival of the Hunt. Hunters on your mark. Ferocious beasts swarm about the castle town. The bigger the catch, the higher the score. The time limit is 12 minutes. Use air cabs to get to other districts. Once you lose in a battle, you'll be forced to retire. The winner will be crowned Master Hunter and receive the Hunter's Reward. Who will come out on top? What do you wish for your Hunter's Reward? I'll go with Gil all the way. I'll take an add-on. What the hell is an add-on? And you, Mr. Vivi? What? I never signed up. I thought you would do pretty well, so I signed you up. Don't worry, with your black magic, it'll be a piece of cake. I-I-I don't know. That was very inconsiderate of you, Zidane. Oh! How about this? If you win, I'll fix you up for a date with Dagger. Me and the princess? Shh! Keep it down! What was that? You just mentioned the princess. <laughs> what evil deeds are you plotting now? It's nothing, right, Vivi? I yeah. So, what would you like for your reward? Oh, for your reward. Oh, um, I'll take a card. Okay, Gil, an add-on, and a card. The festival will begin shortly. You all have different starting points. Hunter Zidane will start in the theater district, Hunter Freya will start in the industrial district, and Hunter Vivi will start in the business district. All right, and with that, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to end this episode here. I remember this next section, and it's going to be very, very, very fun. Uh, I'm going to have to look into this because I want to pick the best reward. Gil sounds boring, and obviously we'll ha we'll we'll be able to get uh, be able to get Gil regardless. Uh, the card sounds like that is going to be unique, so that's interesting. And then the add-on, I am not sure what that's supposed to be. But either way, thank you guys so much for watching. We will do that in the next episode, and I will see you guys there for the Festival of the Hunt. Be happy.